Williams wrote a number of short plays early in his career. They obviously are apprentice work, but they're just as obviously the work of no ordinary apprentice. Many carry his familiar melancholy themes of loneliness and loss, but they can also spring his sharp sense of humor on us. The Williams Festival picked four of them to perform in a fine old mansion in the Grand Center District under the title The St. Louis Rooming House Plays. Because one of the plays takes place in a brothel, we were warmly welcomed into the parlor by fetching and very friendly young women. The obligatory piano player, here masterfully played by Henry Palkus, tickled the ivories and accompanied a couple of the ladies on some powerful blues. Hello from Bertha was the play set in a brothel. In a performance that plumbed the depths, Anita Jackson played Bertha, one of the working women. She's been too sick to work for two weeks. Between bouts of hallucinatory paranoia, Bertha wants to reach out to happier times than a man she knew in Memphis. Donna Weinstein, who can take charge of anything, was Goldie, the madam of the house, ready to ship Bertha off to the charity ward after having exhausted her own charity. And Maggie Winninger played one of the girls who tried to offer Bertha some comfort and help. David Kaplan directed. After Bertha says hello, we were moved on to the next room in the house, and I tip my hat to stage manager Michael Perkins, who successfully coordinated the movements of four groups of audience members and managed to empty each room in time for the next quarter of the crowd to enter. Brief scenes on stairs and in the parlor filled the time for those stranded between plays when their next room wasn't ready. These were pulled from William's early play, The Fugitive Kind, and performed confidently by McKenna Perkle, Ifa Jack Jacobson, Kevin Miner, and McKenna Rogan. In The Pink Bedroom, Julia Crump was stunning in both appearance and performance as a young woman who has been kept for eight years by a wealthy businessman and has, has had enough of too many lies and too little of the attention she feels she deserves. Eric Dean White played the tired businessman with a revolt on his hand where he had expected his usual R&R, &R, and Kevin Miner was the surprise the woman had waiting. Brian Hallfield directed. If in these two plays Williams, like many young playwrights, indulged in the romantic appeal of the seamy side of life, with which he had little direct contact, in The Last of My Solid Gold Watches, he presented a character with whom he had very direct contact, a shoe salesman. William's father was a shoe salesman, and Peter Mayer played an old drummer lamenting the changes he was seeing in his Mississippi Delta territory. Jared Sansayaro was the young salesman subjected to the old man's tirades. B. Morgan Thomas was the rooming house porter, who responded to Mr. Charlie on his saxophone, an idea of director Kaplan, I assume, and not a good one. In Our Profession displayed William's sharp sense of humor that we sometimes overlook. Two stylish young men, played by Ben Nordstrom and Christian Chambers, found the tables turned on them by Julie Layton as an actress from a touring company visiting town. Kaplan again directed. Bonnie Kruger designed the appropriate costumes, and David Richardson, as set designer, adapted the mansion's rooms to fit the plays. I had to stand a lot, and I saw some good theater. Oh, I thought this was just utterly delightful, and I certainly agree with your your compliments on the acting of Anita Jackson and Julia Crump. Yeah, they, it was great to see such good performances. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook. The link is below.